Hey everyone, today's day 26. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good today. I noticed that I seem to go through different high and low cycles and today seems to be one of the, uh, the better days. Uh, when I am here by myself, I notice that one of my biggest struggles, if not the, the biggest struggle, is trying to strike a balance between productivity and enjoyment. Uh, what I mean by that is I'm trying to spend a lot of my time doing something uh, productive or meaningful uh, by means of studying different textbooks and acquiring knowledge and things like that. But always doing that or always doing some kind of chores or whatever can be pretty exhausting at times and that can sometimes lead me to a state of discontentment. Uh, on the other hand, uh, spending all of my time doing things that are pleasurable and enjoying or enjoyable, yeah. Spending all my time doing things that are pleasurable and enjoyable, like uh, spending all my time watching YouTube videos or looking at stupid stuff on the internet or, you know, whatever your favorite vice is, uh, can eventually lead to a, a state of, um, I don't know, maybe disillusion or meaninglessness or something like that. So, I, like I said, I've been trying to find some kind of balance between the two. No, uh, not doing too much of one or the other. Uh, uh, speaking of uh, meaningful things, I've been having plenty of time to actually get out of my apartment and spend time with other people. Uh, I think that's worth something, and I'm trying to take advantage of those opportunities when I can. Other than that, there's uh, not a whole lot of things to update on. Uh, right now, it's I'm just sitting in my apartment on some Friday afternoon. Uh, pretty grateful that I don't have to be at work staring at a computer screen. Would, but uh, ironically, I'm staring at a camera, so I don't know what's really changed. Uh, I did recently end up going through a lot of my old projects and things that I've collected in the past. Specifically, I've uh, gone through some, like diff I guess, different projects and materials that I've, I don't know, either lost interest in or grown discouraged with, and uh, essentially just started clearing out a bunch of stuff and getting rid of it. Uh, it was kind of hard. There was some uh, amount of sentiment in out, uh, as well as a feeling of wasting effort by throwing things out. But uh, I suppose and I hope that uh, it was for the best. First, uh, the most obvious result is that I have more space to expand and do other things. And uh, I'm also hoping that it can have some kind of internal, personal uh, parallel with it as well. I don't know what that looks like, uh, if it means analyzing a couple of my older character traits and seeing if uh, those are still really useful nowadays, and uh, if they're not, then you know, changing myself and getting rid of those and adopting something else. Uh, it's not always pleasant, but uh, I'm gradually uh, adapting to it. Like I said, I'm hoping that it's for the best. Here is a continuation of one of my earliest hobbies that I started way back when I uh, moved back, moved into this apartment. Uh, initially, I wanted to have some kind of uh, self-sustaining diet uh, where I could, you know, uh, ideally have some kind of... Um, 
like aquaponics thing going and I would be able to supply myself with a constant stream of different uh, plants and fish. Um, that, uh, that pursuit has, for the most part, uh, gone away, but over here I still have a, uh, a small collection of different plants and things that I'm still continuing with and still experimenting with. A lot of uh, what I've tried to grow is uh, mostly for practical purposes. Uh, case in point, we've got that uh, that rosemary right there. Uh, it's uh, actually pretty tasty on uh, eggs and things like that. Uh, but uh, uh, I've also looked into different uh, ways I can sustain myself with uh, like like nuts and things that grow wild. So I've been looking into different types of uh, like acorns and other uh, plants and trees that are growing locally. I, I haven't really tried any of them yet, but uh, a lot of the resources that I've consulted say that they're edible, so I will see how that goes. Okay, here in the front we've got uh, coleus. Now these are probably one of the easiest uh, plants to start growing and start with, I mean, if you've never actually done any sort of gardening before, all you have to do is just take a cutting and literally just place it in some water and it will start sprouting its own roots within a week. Uh, I've got a lot of these different cuttings that I've just propagated over and over, and they've been really helpful in learning how to do basic uh, gardening and plant care and things like that. Uh, in the back, I've got some seeds that I've been trying to uh, germinate. Uh, I, for the most part, have had a lot more success with cloning and uh, propagating than I have with germinating seeds. Uh, that's still one thing I'm. Uh, that's one thing I'm still learning how to do. Uh, but looking in this uh, in this back cup, it seems like I'm having some kind of sign of su uh, success. I don't remember when I actually uh, planted these. I want to say it was maybe uh, three or four weeks ago. And uh, I'm surprised I'm seeing anything green at all. Uh, I haven't seen much uh, other growth in these other two cups. Back here we've got some tomato seeds, I think these are. And right here I found some wheat. Uh, literally, I now that I'm paying attention to things in my surroundings, I'm noticing a whole bunch of things that I haven't noticed before. I mean, who would suspect that you would find, you know, wheat growing on the side of a busy street in some city? Okay, right here, I've got this aloe that uh, I recently inherited from my sister. And up here, I've got a pretty basic uh, reflector that I cut out of a, a can. I designed it to uh, work with just a single light bulb, you would just kind of stick through there and then plug it into the wall. But uh, right here I've got two different bulbs going with uh, two different color spectrums. Uh, I'm mostly just trying to keep these seeds warm. I mean, it's currently November and uh, these the outside temperatures aren't really helpful for growing seeds, I don't think, so I'm really just trying to incubate them right here. Here's another instance of that coleus plant. This one's not looking quite as uh, perky as it usually is. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, I can definitely feel water in there so I'm thinking it might be some other uh, fungus or some other malady that's keeping it from uh, obtaining water. Uh, I'm not sure which cutting came from where but like I said, I have a bunch of these cuttings specifically from this breed or strain of coleus in a variety of different places around my apartment. Oh, and just FYI, roots are not supposed to look like that. So I'm thinking that's my problem. I'll have to deal with that later.
Uh, here's yet another coleus plant that I've uh, grown or I guess potted. I don't know if you can really consider that a pot, but this is more along the lines of what a healthy plant would look like, as well as some healthy roots. Um, again, these aren't what you might consider correct pots or containers. But I'm really just trying to improvise and make the most of what I have. With Over here I've got uh, another variety of coleus. This one feels like it's doing pretty well. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how long I've had this one growing. But it seems like it's doing pretty well. One thing I do like about uh, these these plants is that not only are they easy to propagate, but they're pretty low maintenance. All you have to do is just kind of feed them some water and give them some kind of sunshine. Uh, you can give them some nutrients every once in a while if you want to, and they just kind of do their own thing. Right here I've got an onion that I decided to put in some water and just kind of see what happens. It was starting to rot anyway, so I figured it would, I, I at least try to get something out of it. I don't know if I'm really going to get any sort of full, you know, onion bulbs out of it, but at least I think I learned something. Uh, speaking of learning things, I've noticed that clear, transparent containers are really not the best thing to put uh, nutrients in because you'd have more than just plants uh, obtaining those nutrients. Right here you can see this nice collection of algae that I've got growing. And whenever you've got algae and plants growing in the same vicinity, they tend to get pretty competitive. For instance, here's a head of lettuce that I used for the most part and decided to stick it in some water and see what would happen. Uh, it did pretty well for a while, uh, lately, it seems like it's been under a lot of stress, and I'm thinking that uh, this icky stuff might be part of the problem. I'm not sure if that's part of the uh, algae process, or if that's just a, a result of having your roots constantly submerged in water and getting a case of root rot. I'm thinking against the latter. I mean, go figure. You know that uh, plants and leaves require CO2, but the roots actually require oxygen. And you can drown a plant. That's one thing I'm trying to discontinue. Over here, I've got another breed of coleus. You can see these things are kind of everywhere. I don't really know what uh, I'm going to do with them other than try out different experiments and see what works and what I can possibly do with other plants that I'm a little bit more concerned about, such as this basil. I've had in mind for a long time to actually grow some kind of herbs and other useful plants, and I've finally gotten this basil plant. I should say basil plants, because I've got two of them. I propagated one of them growing, and... Now it seems like it, things are going pretty well. Uh, I don't use these in cooking as much as I think I ought to. And uh, I probably should. So that way I don't have the sense that my caretaking went to waste. Here I've got a peppermint plant. Uh, another one that uh, I find pretty common around here and that's also pretty easy to propagate is uh, spearmint. Uh, I don't really know what I would do with that one either, but it's useful for learning. Got another coleus. And then I've got this Christmas pine that uh, my parents gave me. It says it's a pine anyway, but after doing some research, I'm thinking it's more of a spruce. Again, I'm still learning, so I could still be wrong. Down here, I've got some more rosemary, and I think this is thyme. But these two are also showing a little bit of heat stress. 
Uh, I'm not really expecting to get much yield out of these, but I still enjoyed the process, and I think I learned something.